Hey class, in this video I'm going to be discussing creating a soft proof. I'm in the Lightroom library module now and I'm looking at a set of images under a specific folder called Cuba and I would like to view one of these images and get an idea of what it might look like before I send it to the printer. That would be one reason why you'd want to be uh, in the soft proof mode is to get some sort of print preview of an image before you actually send it to the printer. Now select the image you'd like uh, to view in the soft proof mode. In this case I've selected the image already and bring that into the develop module. In order to bring an image into soft proof mode you have to do a couple things. First in the develop module you'll look at the towards the bottom there's a soft proofing checkbox go ahead and click on that to check it and you'll notice that the background of the image becomes white sort of emulating your image on a sheet of photographic paper imagine this white area being white borders on the printed sheet and the next thing you'll notice is that you will see on the upper right under your histogram is this button that says create proof copy. You must uh, click on this button in order to complete uh, creating a soft proof. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now that button disappears and now you've completed creating a soft proof. Let me show you what actually happened after you've created that soft proof. I'm going to go back to the library module. You'll notice that I now have a virtual copy of the image uh, with the license plate. A soft proof is actually a virtual copy of an image. Uh, and it's specific uh, to the fact that you can, when you go into the develop module and you're in the soft proofing mode, you can now view this image with a particular color profile or a paper for profile. So that is the main difference between this and a normal virtual copy. So let me show you uh, for one second here um, another virtual copy uh, that is not a soft proof copy. So it's not automatic if you have an existing virtual copy that you can go into soft proofing mode. Um, you have to still have to create the proof copy. So let me show you this. I'm going to bring this into the develop module and the thing is with Lightroom, it's a little it's a little quirky in that it remembers uh, you were in soft proofing mode before, so it automatically would check it off if you were in it previously. So I didn't check this off. I just clicked on that virtual copy and it automatically checked it. But notice that the button is still there to create the proof copy. So if I wanted to soft proof this, it's just because it's a virtual copy doesn't mean it's an actual soft proof virtual copy. I actually have to cr click on that button and then it's going to actually create another virtual copy. Let me show you that. So there is the actual soft proof virtual copy. Again, this one already existed as just a normal virtual copy. When I went in there and I said create soft proof copy, it created another, another virtual copy, but it's, it's a soft proof virtual copy. Now, how can you tell which one is a soft proof copy versus a regular virtual copy. You really can't tell by just looking at the library and seeing these um, earmarks at the bottom left corner. That tells you it's a virtual copy, but doesn't really tell you if it's a virtual or just a, uh, if it's a virtual copy or if it's a soft proof virtual copy. You won't know until you go in there and, and click on soft proof. So if I were to go into this one, we know that that one was a proof copy, and if if you're if I check on the box, which already was checked, I do not have that button to say create proof copy. Okay, I'm gonna go back out here, and I'm gonna click on this one that I know this was a soft proof virtual copy, and I click on that, and that button does not appear. Okay. And if I don't want to be in soft proof mode, I could just uncheck that and still work on it normally. This would be a good time for you to uh, go into your Lightroom and practice 
selecting an image and bringing it into the develop module and getting into the soft proofing mode and creating a soft proof virtual copy. Practice to see the difference between um, if you were to click on another image, like say this one, and then if you wanted to bring that into a soft proof proofing mode, you got to click on it and then you'll see that button to create it. All right. So this would be a good time to pause this video, practice looking at existing images, bringing them in a soft proof copy, and maybe an existing virtual copy and, and seeing what you need to do to bring that into uh, the soft proofing mode and creating a soft proof copy. So you can pause the video now and come back when you are done. Okay, so we're back after you've practiced creating a soft proof copy and uh, viewing that soft proof copy. So uh, remember, it, it Lightroom is a little quirky. If you click on, um, if you were in the soft proofing mode prior, like I'm gonna put it in there right now. And if I go back into my library and I click on some other image, let's say I wasn't even thinking about creating a soft proof and I wanted to just bring this into the develop module, understand that it remembers that you were just in a soft proofing mode and it'll automatically check the box. So be aware of that. When you see the white background behind your image, that's an indicator that you're in the soft proofing mode. And ask yourself, do you need to be in soft proofing mode? And you'll also see this create proof copy. If this image was, was uh, never a virtual copy, uh, a soft proof virtual copy to begin with, you will see this mess this button here um, asking you to create one. So if you don't need to be in soft proofing, you just go ahead and uncheck that checkbox and work in the develop module as normal. Notice the difference again up here below the histogram. This is without the soft proofing mode. If I were to click on soft proof copy, you will get this profile area ask prompting you to select a particular color space or a paper profile and you may get this button if you haven't created the proof copy yet so know the difference between uh, what you're seeing here in the soft proofing mode versus when it's not there which is regular normal develop module mode <laughs>